testimony is in support of a task force to examine the impact bullying has on state agencies. The legislation creates a task force staffed by the Department of Budget and Management. They will not only study the effects of work workplace bullying in state government, but also develop a survey to collect data on how often it happens and characterize the type of individuals it happens to. One former SHA employee, Gene Simmer, says he was forced to retire after 36 years on the job because he blew the whistle on fraud, waste and abuse. We had a gentleman in the office, uh, I thought he was gone. Uh, he was being paid for over seven years and never came in the office. He was supposed to be a part-time employee. And when I reported this, when I found out, uh, he hadn't been in the office for so long that when he was called in for his exit interview, he had to call into the office for directions. He had forgot where he worked, how to get to his job. This bill does have bipartisan support. A similar bill only got as far as a House committee back in 2014. The Senate passed a heavily amended version of it and then sent it over to the House, but it didn't go anywhere. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.